Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is only right that we discuss Quavo's response to Chris Brown, Weakest Slank, because we did discuss that. We did review it, and it was great. It was great, great, great. But Quavo did not waste any time. Last night, he dropped his diss track, Chris Brown diss track. It is called Over Bitches and Hoes. I don't like the title, but uh, I'm going to take my feelings out of it it's just gonna be all for entertainment only so yeah this track over hosts and bitches quavo uses unreleased vocals from takeoff on the chorus so you hear takeoff throughout the chorus there's some slick wordplay throughout the disc quavo accuses chris brown of being a drug addict okay he went as far as calling him a crackhead Michael Jackson. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> this is crazy. He called him a junkie. Oh my. Well, listen. Mm. So, let's discuss the cover. So, on the cover, I'm guessing Quavo run up on Chris Brown in his house. <laughs> and he's choking him. And some women is trying to stop him. Right? Because it's over hoes and bitches. Right? That's the title. And I'm going to point out some important things that are mentioned in the song. It is bad. It is bad, bad, bad. Okay, here we go. Fuck your bag up when you punch me in the face. Tell my fashion week you sparing. Who come punch me in my face? It ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost the frame. Niggas ran in your house, tied up your butt because she ain't paid. This bullet got your name. Wow. Okay, let's discuss. Well, first, okay, we'll say the beat is hard. The beat is as hard as Chris Brown's Weakest Link. So both songs are really, really great, actually. But okay, so so the lyrics. So he said, Little B, come dance battle with my Drake. You been F your bag up when you punch Re in the face. He's talking about Rihanna. Remember when Chris Brown, yeah, he did what he did to Rihanna. I won't even get into that because it's, you know, it's, everyone knows about that. So, yeah, let's keep it moving. Um, then he said, talking about Fashion Week, you sparing who? Come punch me in my face, the P word. Ain't none but a fate. You know you lost to Frank Ocean. So, you know, the singer, the gay singer, Frank Ocean. Yeah, so I guess they had beef. So, yeah. So N-word ran into your house, tied up your aunt because you ain't pay. And <laughs> I like how he said, auntie, you know how they be adding those ad libs, uh, like the mama. I remember there's a song they have. And then where I think it's takeoff who's like mama. Yeah. So those little ad libs are so funny. Um, yeah. So in 2017, three armed men and masks forced their way into Chris Brown's house and they took his it, his auntie and they locked her in the closet when and they went through his stuff they they got a lot of stuff they got cash they got electronics uh personal items yeah but she wasn't hurt thank god um yeah chris brown was at home and yeah that's what happened okay so let's keep going so he said, little boy want to die about some coochie. You still effed up about Karuchi. You see? Coochie, Karuchi. Yeah, anyway. You tried to beat up Tayana, but Usher wouldn't let you do it. You know, Tayana Taylor. So let me tell you about what happened with that. So... Chris Brown was celebrating his birthday at a roller rink, skating rink, yeah. And um, so there's two different stories, right? But both said Usher left with a bloody nose. So Chris Brown did beat Usher up. So they said it, um, Chris Brown was upset. He was upset because Tayana Taylor was ignoring him when he was trying to talk to her. And then the other story is... Um, he was mad because his Michael Jackson tribute was, you know, I guess they they canceled it. And he blamed Tayana for it. So, yeah. But the point is, he was screaming at her. And I should have stepped in as a man. should You know, the real gentleman, that's what they do. 
they're not gonna sit back and let a man, another guy scream at a woman, you know? So Usher stepped in, and Chris Brown said he's leaving. No, Chris Brown wanted to, wanted them to kick Tiana out, like to kick her out. So Usher stepped in, and Chris Brown, you know, took his friends and they 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 started walking out. So Usher followed Chris Brown outside. And they were, like, some heated argument going on. And, yeah, and then the fight broke out. So, Chris Brown beat up Usher. They say Usher left with a bloody nose. It was confirmed he did leave with a bloody nose. So, yeah, Chris Brown beat up Usher. This dude is out of control. Okay? So, Chris Brown is very problematic, but let's keep it more. Let's keep going because there's a lot more. Okay? Wow, okay, this is, this is a lot. Okay, so this is what he said. The cocaine got him, your honor, white, bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the greatest N-word, you fumbled. Going outside, I'm watching you crumble. Why they got Quavo out here going back and forth with a singer that turned to that turned to a junkie. Never got light skin versus brown skin. N word. Final divide the country. Again, never got light skin versus brown skin. N word. Finna final trying to divide the country, basically. Okay, um yeah, Quavo is not playing. They're bringing up everything, everything. My gosh, nothing is off limits. Okay, so let me tell you about this situation. What he meant when he said light skin versus never got light skin versus brown skin. So we all know. Well, I don't know. Maybe not everyone, but a lot of us know that Chris Brown is a colorist, right? He's a colorist and he does not like black women. He doesn't like black women and he's shown it through his actions, his song lyrics. He has a song called... The song is called Need a Stack, Need a Stack, or something like that. I don't listen to Chris Brown, so, but, um, yeah, and in the song, uh, he said something like, um, I only, only want to F the black bees with the nice hair. So, you see, it's, it has to be some kind of mix, you know, like mix kind of thing, or, it, it's, listen, I'm not going to get into all that, okay? Well, if you follow Chris Brown, you know about him and his problematic ways and his drama, his issues. He's very problematic. He's an abuser. He's a... I don't like him, honestly. I know it may sound like cause my last video where I was reviewing The Weakest Link song. I was hype. I was like, the song is good. But <laughs> believe me when I tell you, I do not like this guy. Never have... I don't like a lot of them, really. You know, I speak on them and let people know things, but I really don't care for these celebrities. They're trash. Most of them are trash, right? Their actions, they are terrible human beings. They are trash, and Chris Brown is the king of trash. He's, he's disgusting. He beats women, and I didn't touch on it on the Weakest Link review that I did. Please do not for one second think that I support this clown. I don't. I will never buy any music. I don't even buy music. I don't support these entertainers because we know what they... The, the, listen, let's stop trying to make the rich richer, okay? And we know all that fake persona, but they are shitty human beings. So I don't support these. I, won't, I will not spend my money on these entertainers. No, we know what they do when they get their money. Look up Diddy, the truth. You know, we've been here about Diddy. But, yeah, so these celebrities, they shitty human beings. And you guys are making them richer, you know, by being fans and supporting everything they do, even though they show you who they are. It's weird. But, um, yeah, so don't for one second think I support this clown because I don't. On the review that I did, The Weakest Link, I didn't really touch on anything like that. Because I wanted it to be strictly just about the song. I, you know, I like the song, but will I buy it? Hell no. And I didn't really say much about the abuse. 
and I really did not even know that Karuchi had plays had uh, received a five year, um, what do you call it? Five year restraining order. She won that for five years against Chris Brown. I didn't even know that she came out and said, yeah, he abused her, and he threatened to, you know, unalive her. He threatened to unalive her. Uh, harass her friends. I even have a video where he said, with his own mouth, he said, I am the type of dude, I'm that type of dude that will, if I break up with you, yeah, I will harass you. I will make your life a living hell. Really? What a loser. And in, um, in the court file that she won with the restraining order, he said, oh, she said that he wanted her to return all his gifts that he had, you know, given to her. So it's like, really, are you an Indian giver? I think that's what you call it. When someone gives you something and then something happened, they want it all back. Like, who does that? You're a loser, dude. You're a crackhead Michael Jackson loser. But anyway, I'm about to play the videos for you guys. Check out the clips where some girls are saying, yeah, he didn't want to allow them in the club. And his section because they were black and also Tokyo vanity. I will just play it, okay? Check this out. So you Ladies, y'all be complaining about niggas being like stalkers and love with y'all kind of crazy shit and get tired of them. Well, guess what? I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I'm gonna chase that nigga out. I'm gonna chase your ass around. And it's Basically, we were supposed to go and see Chris Brown. Hey, my leg. We were supposed to go and see Chris Brown. We got there. There was thousands of girls lining up there, like thousands of girls. And they're not getting in. And we were supposed to be on the VIP guest list. I'll give you guys a proof. Don't, don't, don't go guys. to fucking, what's it called? Proud, proud, lay, proud, proud, whatever. They forgot to tell us black girls ain't allowed. They said no black girls allowed. They're literally handpicking these no white girls. Black girls allowed. No black queue. girls allowed. What do you guys have to say? London, you are shaking my life, yeah? <laughs> Shake. Chris Brown, what happened to Chris Brown, man? Oh, my God, that's Chris Brown. He's always walking black. Chris Brown, what do you mean? If you don't laugh, you cry. You cry. It's not what you guys Chris Brown. Nah. Open all the money that Chris Brown has made. I swear. They only buy me new jacket, new dress. You speak for all my Uber that I don't take back and forth. Back and forth. Guys. They're only letting white things that white things. Your body is I'm not racist, isn't it? I'm not racist, but. Your body lying with me. Speak to me. Guys, now we're going to Libertine. We don't know if we're going to be getting in or not. My shoe gave up on me, so I took off my shoe. But this night is a night. This night is, I don't know, it's a night. Christopher Pazay Brown, bitch, stop playing with me. Okay, all that talking about, can you take me out and all that, like, bitch, that shit not for me. Second of all, bitch, I'm not even your type, bitch. You into things of, you know, lighter complexion, you know, coke, heroin, molly, acid, embalming fluid, oh, cigarettes. I'm just saying, Puerto Rican women, white women, Asian women, you know, and that's all fine because that's your preference and we are entitled to a preference. Bitch, all I'm doing is calling it like I see. When we was in the club in Miami and when we was in the club in L.A., bitch, in your section, your rules was no dark because you wouldn't let my homegirl in in L.A., but you let all her friends in. And in Miami, you wouldn't let my other homegirl in, but you let all her friends in. But y'all was talking about no dark skin women. All I'm saying is like a gangster, how you feel staying on that shit because me however i feel about anything i'ma stand on it ten toes bitch don't come changing your opinion and how you feel about shit because everybody bashing you and furthermore i told my homegirl not to even be in your session because bitch she don't even do coke crazy to me how all y'all african-americans don't hear who got black mama sisters aunties brothers cousins and sisters uncles nephews and brothers um y'all on here like you know what i'm saying acting like that shit who and bitch y'all can say what y'all want by me bitch, i don't give a fuck y'all Ain't got to like me. All y'all long you're talking about somebody doing something for cloud. Bitch, I don't need no cloud from Chris Brown. Bitch, all I did was all I did was when I saw some on the shade room, bitch, I commented and say I don't know why this is why this is shocking to y'all. And I all I stated was the receipts that I saw. Bitch, when he was in the club, he ain't let dark skin women in his section. I don't need no cloud from Chris Brown. Bitch, I ain't never had no hands out from no n ain't no n never funded my campaign, bitch. I got my own money. I'm booked almost every weekend. I got my own everything, and I'm 24. Never needed no motherfucking put me on. And 
for y'all that don't know me. You heard it. So yeah, he's very, everyone know about him and his ways and his abusive ways. He's a loser and women, period, everyone, men, women should not support this clown, okay? It's especially black women, like this guy doesn't like you, yet you guys are his number one supporters. What? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why would you want to put money in someone's pockets who don't even like you, who can't even, who don't even want you in, to, to hang out with you in their club section, in their section at a club? That's like they hate your guts. When someone can't even hang out with you, sit next to you, I mean, just sitting by someone doesn't mean anything. But even that is too much. Even sitting next to you is too much. Is repulsive. But yet, he'll take your money and buy whatever he wants, buy crack, cocaine, anything. You know, be rich and live a good life. Yet, he can't stand you. Make it make sense. Don't you know you have the power to make these celebrity dance? You know what they say? Dance will make you dance. I, I don't know why that song in my head because I don't... I, anyway, yeah. So, they're like puppets. It's like you're holding a carrot, you know, above their head. They will freaking dance because you, they want your money. That's how they get their lifestyle. And their people, their handlers, they, they, owe, they own them. But you own them. See, they are owned by these, these higher-ups, right? But you own them. You are really the one in charge. You are the one in control. Without your money, no one is eating. Without your money, the handlers can't do ish. And they can't do ish. They can't go out there and abuse women and do all these things with their money. Because you, you are the reason why they live the way they live. Don't you get that? You are the reason. If you stop putting money in these people's pockets, they will act right. They will act right. Because they need your money to live that lifestyle. Bragging, showing off, just ridiculous Spending, abusing their power, you know, abusing everything, people, everything. You are in charge. Make them work for it. Duh. They don't want your money. They need your money. Always remember, they need it. They, just because they're showing off like they have money, they're not as rich as they pretend to be. Okay, they have bills because they they live lavish lifestyle, so they have a lot of bills, and they have the people who's controlling them. Okay, they get more of the money, right? So it's not a want; it's a need. So you hold that power, and use that power. Okay, people who are problematic, you can easily resolve that issue. Stop putting money in their pockets. You are in charge. You know how when a TV show is, is like people are not watching, they cancel them, right? So it's the same thing. You want to cancel someone, stop tuning in, stop putting money in their pockets, do not entertain them, duh, they'll go away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get back on track. I'll save that for another topic but um let's talk about sweetie she's in the crossfire once again so in the track see they all sound the same uh offset what's his name take off and uh quavo so i didn't even know who's who <laughs> who's rapping but i believe quavo said because that's his ex he said um i can get a model i can take a model and make a sweetie right so yeah okay so her feelings are uh, hurt you know so so she replied with hopefully the model he turns into me replies and she saw she showed a screenshot of her dms instagram dms i guess he had message her he didn't really say much he said well from the little subject line all you can see is because she didn't open it it says, damn, we used to mean AF to each, dot, 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 I guess to each other. But I don't understand why she put that out there. First of all, I'm a, as women, okay, let, let's, let's be real. 
let's be real. As women, we can play some games too. We can, we know how to play, you know, mind games too. So she, I don't, I don't see the point why she put this out there because it didn't mean much because we don't know how long ago, we don't know how long ago after they broke up that he messaged her and it's in a DM, Instagram DM. It's not like a personal text. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, you know, and it says 21 hours ago. I mean, it just means that she took a picture of it that moment. You know what I mean? To show her friends or to just keep it, you know, for later to use for a little time. You know what I mean? So we don't know. I, I doubt he messaged her that night when she posted it. I doubt it. Even though it says 21 hours ago, I doubt that he messaged her. Uh, there, I think he messaged her. Who knows when? It could have been a year after they broke up. All I know is she took a screenshot of it to show her girlfriends or to use it for another time. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and I'm sure if you heard by him and he, he broke up with you and you thinking like, yeah, he's gonna come back and then, and he never, and then he messaged you finally, whether it's a month, whether it's two months later, whether it's a year later, you feel like, yeah, see, 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 and you want to take a screenshot to show off because you're insecure, you know? But I don't think he messaged her that night whatever it says 21 hours ago, whenever he she posted it yesterday, I don't think he just messaged her that day she posted it. I think this screenshot was there. The second he messaged her, she did that, okay? She took a screenshot and saved it for something like this, right? <laughs> but I don't understand why they're putting her... Well, I do understand, but I feel like... Yeah, so they're using her to get back at each... to go at each other. Again, Chris Brown is telling her to sell some records right trying to make some sales you know so he's using that but he's throwing her under the bus so it's crazy how women are just it's crazy because it's like you doing yo you sleep with these people right but yet these men could just throw you out there and put your business out there just randomly just because they in in a beef you know or if they just feel like or they're being interviewed and they just say something about you. But like, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, it's crazy how your business can be thrown out there anytime because these men, these idiots, these artists, entertainers can just use your situation, whatever you did with them, and put it out there. So that is kind of sad, you know? And then the Karuchi train, him calling her my ex ho I feel like that is, like, no, that's not right, you know? Not she a hoe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, if you think about it, it's like, it's mean because it's like you put her through hell, you abuse her physically, mentally, emotionally, right? And yet, you guys been over. You guys are, you know, you guys broke up. It's been years, and now you in some beef, and you want to bring her up for no reason and calling her a hoe and she's this, she's that, she's a... You know what I mean? Like, because you had her do a lot of nasty things, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, so I don't like that they have these women and they're, you know, they're throwing these women in the in the crossfire. I don't like that because that's not right. You know, keep your beef between you two and, you know, but hey, that's why you have to... You have to be careful what you do because you don't want to give that anyone, anyone the, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word. You don't want to give anyone that control, that power to be able to just expose you like that. That's why you shouldn't do things like, you know what I mean? Like be think, be mindful of what you do, you know, and be choosy, like pick right people, you know, like these entertainer women, I don't know. It's like they have to sleep their way to the top. They have to do these things with these freaking losers because they've been in the game and, and they have money. So they feel like they have no say, you know? So it's like, come on. It's sad. It's sad that he did what he, what he did with her and then now he's... Everyone knows now. Yeah, but these entertainers, these women, yeah. So it's like they're just there for the men, for the Hollywood men. Because the way they are treated, the I'm not gonna get into all that, okay? <laughs> anyway, so back to the track. Um, 
so yeah so i believe this track is damaging very damaging to chris brown because they put they spared oh my gosh they held nothing back they put it out there all his problematic ways everything so in that sense yeah they they won in that sense you know because it's like wow because that's damaging because they're coming with truth with facts i mean chris brown is coming with facts too i guess but but the, i have proof we have proof of all these things that you know quavo is talking about so i've just you know it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy i oh my goodness so the beat is hard lyrically the things are, that are said are damaging truth but they still damaging um so yeah i mean i like both songs uh quavo's song is more catchy because it's like uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> whatever but will i buy it no way hell no but i'll listen to it a few times on youtube or whatever oh not on youtube on apple music <laughs> but um that's it that's it i do not support you know these rappers and stuff because they trashy they all trashy okay so what are your thoughts on this quavo new quavo diss track um what do you think which is better do you like chris brown weakest link or do you think quavo and offset you know you know one i don't know just leave your thoughts in the comment and yeah let me know what you think uh as for i mean i like both i like both but like i said they both trashy they all trashy people but if we want to keep it just strictly entertainment like you know this whole battle thing yeah um i don't know i like chris brown a lot like it's like uh, 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 it gets you you know and the quaver one it's it's catchy you know it makes you still kind of like hey <laughs> but anyways yeah and that's all i have to say about that they all trashy and yeah okay so thank you for tuning in please like please subscribe and the, stop wasting your money stop putting money in these losers pockets okay stop making them richer because they don't they're not they don't appreciate it okay <laughs> thank you please like please subscribe please share and i'll see you on the next one peace